Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your cleanser, moisturizer and sunscreen. Now I want to keep my main focus on the order of application, how much you need to use of each product and what's important to do in between each step. So when it comes to the order of application and you're doing this in the morning, you're going to use all three products. You're starting off with the cleansing step, then you're moving on to the moisturizer and then lastly your sunscreen. However, in the evening, the sunscreen step is not needed. So it's only two steps, your cleansing step and then your moisturizer and that's it. Now, when it comes to the products that you're going to choose, make sure that they're working well for you and that they feel comfortable on the skin. I'm not getting into that specific like detail of the video. I'm going to go with some of my favorite products that I have right here that I'm going to use as an example. If you have a different cleanser, moisturizer, or sunscreen, go ahead and exchange it. It won't change the order of application, nor how much you're going to use because I'm going to go over a general guide as well. Now, we're going to get started with the first step. This is always your first step doesn't matter if you're doing this in the morning or evening and you can wash your face above the sink or take the cleanser with you in the shower whatever works best for you just make sure that your cleanser is able to properly remove any excess oil dirt sweat sunscreen and if you have one makeup throughout the day then makeup as well so that you can like remove everything properly from the skin before applying your moisturizer on top so when it comes to cleansers you have gentle cleansers for different skin types you have oil or balm cleansers which usually help uh, like help to remove sunscreen as well as makeup like very easily and you have treatment cleansers such as salicylic acid or even benzoyl peroxide now what's important to keep in mind is that you're going to grab the cleanser that you're currently using and read on the back of the packaging on like what the directions say do you have to apply it on dry skin or on wet skin do you have to leave it on the skin for a few minutes before rinsing it off those are all points that you have to keep in mind sometimes they even tell you that you can use it with water or without water and then you need to adjust it based on what works the best for you but please make sure to read on the back of the packaging this will give you the instructions such as with the example that I have right here it's a gentle cleanser it said that it's daily facial cleanser which is great for combination to oily skin and right here on the back it says well it's best to use it with water so the first step that I'm going to do is now wetting my face and neck with lukewarm water to warm water so it feels comfortable on the skin and then I'm going to use about a coin size amount which usually is about one to two pumps or just squeeze up out a coin size amount of your cleanser on the palm of your hand rub your hand together and then gently massage it all over your face and neck please also read on the back of the packaging if you can use your cleanser around your eyes as well as your mouth or if you should avoid it which is usually the case with uh, treatment cleansers as well so keep this in mind and please do not get your cleanser into your eyes nor into your mouth if that's the case rinse it with water so let's go ahead and do this So use about one to two pumps, about a coin size amount, rub your hands together and then evenly blend it all over your face as well as neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. If you're using a cleanser and you're trying to remove your sunscreen as well as makeup, you may just wanna use this a bit longer so that you can break it down properly and that everything comes off once you're going to rinse it off the skin. So, and once you're done massaging your cleanser all over your face and neck, you're going to rinse it off again with lukewarm water to warm water. You can do this by just using your hands above the sink or in the shower. Go ahead and do so. If everything comes properly off, then that's completely fine by just using your hands. However, you may find it helpful to use a soft and fresh washcloth in between, which you're going to wet. And this can help you to properly remove any leftovers of your sunscreen, makeup, or even your cleanser from the skin. So that there's no residue left and that everything comes properly off.
So, once you have rinsed off your cleanser, you now are going to take a fresh and soft towel and you're going to pat the skin dry. So it doesn't matter your skin type, you're going to pat the skin dry. Your skin will remain damp even though you have pat the skin dry with a towel. And so this is really important to do in between your cleansing step and your moisturizing step. So once you're done with your cleansing step and you have pat the skin dry, this is really important to do before applying your moisturizer because this way your moisturizer will feel comfortable on the skin. If you're going to leave your skin wet so that you can see water drops all over and you're then going to layer your moisturizer on top, this can cause problems. First of all, it can feel very uncomfortable. Second of all, it can become quite smeary because they do not blend well and it can to some extent feel dry and tight because because it's going to create a film that it feels like you're wearing a mask. Now this of course can depend on the moisturizer that you're going to choose but my main point is you should not apply your moisturizer on still wet skin. So pat the skin dry, this is really important, your skin will remain damp. And so then when applying your moisturizer, go ahead, grab your favorite moisturizer. This can be lotion, gel, cream, richer cream, whatever. And then use about a bean size amount. This should be more than enough for your face and neck. Of course, this can be adjusted. If you feel like you do not have enough for like your entire neck, let's say, then of course, go ahead and adjust it and use a bit more. But my main point is do not overdo it. You do not need to have such a thick layer sitting on the skin surface specifically when doing this in the morning and the next step is going to be your sunscreen because if you're going to use too much of your moisturizer and then you're layering your sunscreen on top this can feel so weird and uncomfortable on the skin and still even if you're not going to apply your sunscreen afterwards in the evening you want to make sure that the moisturizer feels comfortable on the skin and usually it can feel quite uncomfortable too heavy or feel like you're going to sweat quite a lot or that it feels like really oily on the skin because you're using too much. So therefore you're going to reduce it and as an overall general guide use about a bean size amount. So about that much more or less and then start blending it all over your face and neck. So, and once you have applied your moisturizer all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now during daytime, you now can follow on with your sunscreen, but before you're applying your sunscreen, I recommend waiting between one to two minutes in between before doing so, so that the moisturizer kind of like can set before applying your sunscreen, otherwise it may feel uncomfortable when immediately layering the sunscreen on top. However, when it comes to the evening routine, you're only going to wash your face with your cleanser and then finish with the moisturizer. So once you have done like the application of your moisturizer, then that's basically it for your evening routine just before going to bed. Now I want to keep my focus on the morning routine, so I'm now going to move on to the sunscreen step as well so that you can see all three steps. So when choosing a sunscreen, make sure that it feels comfortable on the skin, that it does not irritate your skin in any way, nor cause any breakouts or even redness. So it should really feel comfortable, specifically around the eyes, because this is often an issue that if the sunscreen stings or burns around the eyes and you want to use your sunscreen around the eyes, then it's best to go for a sunscreen that does not irritate your eyes in any way. So that's of course clear because it should feel comfortable all over. There's several sunscreens on the market so go ahead and go with the one that you like the most. Now when doing the application of your sunscreen what's important to keep in mind is that you're using enough to evenly cover your entire face, your ears as well, your neck and to some extent your decolletage. Now this depends on what you're wearing. So currently with the shirt that I'm having on I have a bit of exposure of my decolletage so I'm going to use the sunscreen on there as well. However of course if you have like a shirt on that goes like this then of course you need to adjust the amount just for your face and neck. So the more skin exposure you have, 
when just keeping the focus on the face, neck and right here, the more sunscreen you need to use. If you just want to keep the focus on your face or and even neck, then of course you need to reduce the amount, otherwise you're going to end up with too much. So as an overall general guide, use about half a teaspoon for your face and neck and to some extent this part as well. If you have more exposure, then you may need to adjust it and add a bit more sunscreen. Now, when doing the application, depending on your sunscreen's texture, you need to use more or less. So therefore, I'm going to go with a general guide about half a teaspoon. But if you have a fluid, you may want to use less. If you have a thicker cream, you may need to use more. This depends on how well you can blend it all over. So I'm going to use now Cosarex sunscreen. This is one that I really like. And it has like a medium texture. It's more like a cream as I had with the ordinary moisturizer. So the texture is quite similar. It's not too fluid-like, but also not too thick. So it's like right in between. So use about that much more or less again of how much skin is being exposed and then evenly blend it all over. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it with water. So once you're done with the application of your sunscreen, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, right now you can see an infographic about the like important points that you have to keep in mind when working with a sunscreen. And you will find the same infographic and more additional information about the cleansing step and the order of application and general guides of how much you need to use all in the description box down below. Those are all in PowerPoint slides and you can even download them if you want to save them and find them helpful for your own skincare routine. Now this is an example of a morning skincare routine that I want to share with you so that you can see all three steps and what you have to keep in mind to do in between. If you do enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare in general, such as for example, how to double cleanse, which is extremely important to do if you have one stop and sunscreen and makeup that your usual cleanser is not able to properly remove, you will find this video and others at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching and learn more about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!